Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, George Mason University proudly brings to you its premier movie review program that's out of this world. I'm the Dean Machine, Roger Dean, with Mason Cable Network and Student Media, and this is From the Cinema. It is estimated most human beings only use 10% of the brain's capacity. Imagine if we could access 100%. Interesting things begin to happen. Hello world and all who inhabit it, welcome back to From the Cinema. I hope everyone is enjoying this beautiful weather. Speaking of beautiful, I am reviewing a movie with a beautiful starlet as the main character. This movie should have been good and it wasn't. I don't know why. So here's what I have to say to the people who are behind this movie, including the main cast. Lucy, you got some splaining to do. You may have already seen Lucy, 2014. Um, Hopefully you haven't, but I normally don't do this stuff in this order, but first I will let you know uh, how I feel about this movie. Uh, this review will be relatively short because this movie was just awful. It is one of the worst movies I have ever seen. Uh, now to learn more about the movie Lucy. Uh, it's a 2014 English language, French science fiction action film written and directed by Luc Besson. Remember him? He was the director of those two awful Taken sequels. Yeah, I remember him. It, produced, uh, it was produced by his wife, Virginie Sia. Uh, the film was shot in Taipei, Paris, as well as New York City. And it stars Scarlett Johansson and Morgan Freeman, um, Amar Wicked, and Choi Meek, Meek Seek. Uh, Johansson portrays the title character, a woman who gains psychokinetic abilities from a nootropic drug being absorbed into her bloodstream. Nootropics, also referred to as smart drugs, memory enhancers, neuro enhancers, cognitive enhancers, intelligence enhancers, enhance intelligence. They, uh, those type of drugs, supplements, or nutraceuticals, and functional foods, those are the ones that improve uh, one or more aspects of mental function, uh, such as your working memory, motivation, and attention. All of this is increased in Lucy. Uh, this drug, you know, goes directly into her bloodstream. Anyways, the film was released on July 25th, 2014, and became a box office success, grossing over $458 million against a budget of $40 million. It shows that they only spent $40 million on this movie. Uh, it received mainly positive but also polarized critical reviews uh, with praise for Johansson's performance, entertaining or intriguing themes and visuals. Um, and, you know, it was kind of a lot criticized for having a nonsensical and convoluted plot, um, especially, you know, because it focused on the 10%, you know, that we use 10% of our brain. You know, that's a myth. Um, but they decided to, like, come up with abilities that we would get, you know, if we tried to access more. Um, but this movie was really bad, and that's a giant understatement. Uh, this movie stars Scarlett Johansson and Morgan Freeman and pretty much no one else. Um, Scar Jo is Lucy. Uh, she's a drug mule who's accidentally dosed with the drug of CPH4 that activates a myriad of pre-encoded genetic conscious abilities. The role of Lucy called for an actress who could be believable as extremely vulnerable, as well as be believable as superpowered, um, when her exposure to an illegal substance inadvertently makes her acquire incredible skills. Um, Impressed with Johansson's discipline, Basal reached out to her for the role, stating that she was immediately precise and professional, and he enjoyed the way she talked about the movie. He said she was, you know, excited for the right reason, which was the story. I don't know how that could have possibly been a thing, because when you watch this movie, you'll see that there is no story. Anyways, at that moment, it was a done deal for me. For him, not me. Uh, she was definitely the one to Basal again, not me. Um, now, the other thing is, Little known fact, Angelina Jolie is widely reported to have been originally cast as Lucy. Um, and as, you know, having dropped out of the role prior to filming, um, Jolie was in serious talks uh, with Basson since 2011 to start his next directorial effort. Then it was untitled. It probably, probably was this movie. Um, he stated that she was not his first choice for the role of Lucy, and he implied that Johansson was his first choice once she won the role of the movie, which would make sense. You know, she would be your main character, after you cast her as the main character. Anyways, oh Scarlett Johansson tried to save this movie with her looks and her talent. Even as beautiful as she is and as talented as she is, she couldn't save this movie. I mean, it had a horrible script, um, and the plot was you know, pretty much centered around her looks and nothing else really sadly, so. Uh, the plot was useless, and in the big scheme of things, they never really explained what the reasoning of any of it was. I mean, I don't think there was, yeah, there really wasn't a reasoning, really. Uh, the plot has holes and gaps in it that are too wide for me to get past. I mean, I love Black Widow, but even, even Agent Romanoff couldn't charm her way through this movie, and she's a trained spy. 
Uh, then there's Morgan Freeman as Professor Samuel Norman. Uh, Basson's wife and producer of the film, Virginia Sia, stated that given Freeman's experience portraying a uh, character of wisdom, it was uh, pretty obvious that he was the perfect actor for the role of Professor Norman. I mean, you're talking about characters who, like, you're talking about a guy who plays, like, super, like, a guy with super wisdom, like, he's super wise and, like, has a whole lot of wisdom. I mean, he plays God and Bruce Almighty, <laughs> like, and even he couldn't save this movie. Uh, it's really sad. This movie has its flaws that I really can't get over. I mean, it is a sci-fi film that throws out the science for way too much fiction. The main flaw of this movie is that it is disadvantageously trying to be too smart for its own good. Um, I really don't have much to say about it, but what I do have to say is this. This one thing that I really can't stand was that this one statement by Hollywood.com's Jordan Smith, when Smith was comparing Lucy's powers to such characters as, listen to this, Professor X, X-Men, the Doctor, Doctor Who, <laughs> Doctor Manhattan from, I believe that's Watchmen, yeah, uh, and then Galactus, you know, the, the eater of planets, like the destroyer of worlds, like he eats, he eats planets, like he goes around and eats planets, that's from... Uh, Fantastic Four and the Silver Surfer. Really bad Fantastic Four movie, but you get the concept. Heat's Planets. Oh, and then also, God from Bruce Almighty. God. Scarlet Witch from the upcoming Avengers, Age of Ultron 2. Yeah, she'll be in that. And then uh, Tetsuo from Akita. Uh, it was stated by Smith that Lucy may be the most powerful film character ever created. Are you kidding me? <laughs> that is crazy. How could anyone think that? God is in Bruce Almighty. God. Doctor Who, I'm not so sure about. I don't know if he's like super powerful, but like, I mean, come on anyway. And then there's Professor X. He's the most powerful telepath of all time. Lucy's not even in the same category. I mean, God, like God. I'm sorry. Okay, um, it's fine. We're moving on. We're gonna ignore what that person said. God, I'm just really, I'm really stuck with the part of God. But okay, anyway, Lucy is not even in the same category as these people. The only positive about this movie is that it has really good superhero tendencies, and we all know how much I love superheroes. Uh, I mean, the power that she gets as the percentage of her brain usage goes up, she could totally be an X-Men. I mean, like, she may not be on the same powerful as, like, you know, Professor X, but, like, she could totally be an X-Men. Uh, and it's, like, really fun to, like, watch her work in the way that they think it would. I don't think it would work this way, but hey, whatever. Uh, and I appreciate them using some special effects, but the movie still sucked. Uh, the special effects showed some really cool things in ways that I imagined them would. I imagined them as, but... Uh, it was, it tried to be a really good movie and it wasn't, but that was a really good part of the movie. Um, aside from the fact that Scarlett Johansson was in it. Um, now, here's my recommendation for the movie. Uh, don't see it, okay? Uh, there are people who feel that this movie is enthusiastically silly. I just think it's silly. Uh, they believe Lucy tries to power through its, you know, logical gaps with cheesy thrills and Scarlett Johansson's charm and mostly succeeds at it. I highly disagree. This movie fails at trying to like jump through those gaps because I see them and I'm walking right through them and they're gigantic holes in your plot that I can't get over. But that's fine. Uh, they focused on one part too much and sacrificed the other. The whole like sci-fi and the fiction. Yeah, like they sacrificed the science for all of the fiction and like I wasn't ready for that. Like I was like, oh no. Uh, and then uh, the action, you know, totally takes away from the sci-fi and then the sci-fi makes the action seem unnecessary. You know, if Lucy can do all of these things, why doesn't she just like fix it? <laughs> You know, she can, like, control matter and earth and life and time. Why don't she just go back in time and stop the thing from happening? Um, okay, anyways, uh, I give this movie a poor recommendation because the special effects were cool, but the plot was horrible. It had no story, but it does get an extra oomph because it was financially successful. Um, you know, it was financially successful because it made a lot of money by not spending a lot of money. Um, you can tell that it doesn't spend a lot of money when you watch it, uh, but don't watch it. Uh, but, it, you know, it is... <sighs> It's not, it's not from being, the movie's just bad. Um, and it robs people. Like, it should have been a crime that they charged anyone for this movie, but people made, paid good money to see this movie, and that's a darn shame. Bottom line, number one, don't do drugs. Uh, number two, don't see this movie. Number three, don't sell drugs. Four, stay away from drugs. Uh, five, just say no. Six, babies need a lot of the CPH4 stuff to, like, develop, and that's, like, really important to them. So, unless you're a baby, don't do CPH4. Um, and why did they make this movie? Seven. I have no idea. Uh, eight, Scarlett Johansson is gorgeous uh, and can act. Nine, Morgan Freeman can act. And it's pretty cool, too. I mean, he plays God in one movie. Uh, and then ten, Lucy is a stupid movie. It should have never been made because it's just awful. Anyways, I thank you all for sticking around to the end of the video. As stated before, I won't give it a rating here, but I already did on my blog, which you can check out at 
rogersrundown.blogspot.com. Again, rogersrundown.blogspot.com. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, feedback, or emotional outbursts, feel free to reach out to me personally on my Twitter at DeanMachine2016 or my blog, which is again, rogersrundown.blogspot.com. Um, back to the emotional outburst. I kind of have one, like, Lucy was so bad and like, ah, like, why was it so bad? I don't understand. It could have been so good. It should have been so good, but it wasn't. Like, Lucy and Guardians of the Galaxy both came out at the same time. And I expected Guardians of the Galaxy to, like, be, like, a super, like, flop because, like, nobody knows who, like, the Guardians of the Galaxy were. But, like, Lucy, like, oh, my God, it's got Morgan Freeman and Scarlett Johansson. It's going to be a great movie, right? And then you watch them both, and you're like, oh, my God, Guardians of the Galaxy is the greatest thing that's ever existed. And then you watch Lucy, and you're like, what happened? <laughs> Why did they? I don't know. So just, ah, like, grr to, like, everything in the world that, like, came to, like, help Lucy be me. But that's fine. That's all. Thank you. Until next time. Do good things and make good choices.